Hey guys, it's Carla. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting a bird's nest. As you can see, this video is really short. So, and that's because it's so easy. Um, honestly, anybody can do this. Uh, and if you want a free outline for this painting, just look in the description below. Um, now, I'm leaving my background white. You don't have to do that. You can paint it another color, but I'm leaving mine white. So I'm just focusing on the the bird's nest. Um, and these these paints that I use, I use just whatever I have on hand that, that I like the color of. So don't feel like you have to go out and buy, buy expensive paints. This is just um, craft paint that I'm using. And very cheapo brushes. And I'm doing this on an 8x10 canvas panel. And the reason I like to use those is because they're very inexpensive. They cost like a dollar each. And um, they fit in a picture frame. So what I like to do is, I mean, you could put it in an 8x10 frame. But what I like to do is put it in a an 11x14 frame with an eight by 10 mat in it. And that kind of, uh, just having that border around it, it really looks good. Now what I've done here is I covered my bird's nest in the raw sienna with just very messy, choppy brush strokes. And now with a liner brush, I'm going in and putting the, the straw and all that in with different colors. I'm starting with my darker color, which is the brown, um, and then I'll just get lighter and lighter, but then you can also come back later with more, more of the darker if you, if you need to. So I'm just going to um, very loosely put these in until I get my nest as full as I want it. And when you get out to the outer edges, Keep it very loose, very, have some, you know, wispy ones coming out so that your nest doesn't look too tight and overthought. If you're a woman, especially, you know what I'm talking about. We tend to overthink things. It's very loose. Keep it quick. Don't stay in one spot too long. You want it really dark right here down here where the eggs are so that it looks deep. It gives it dimension. And then as you come out, just uh, keep them further apart and looser. So now I'm just going a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to continue this um, putting in these thin lines and squiggly lines and going lighter and lighter and and like I said you can go back to your dark if you if you realize you need more of that in there so just squiggle 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 don't think about it just do it This can be fairly therapeutic, I think. Okay, so now I'm starting on my eggs. And I think the name of this paint, this color is Caribbean or something like that. But whatever color you want your eggs to be is perfectly fine. Even if there's no such egg that color, you can... This is art so you can just make it look right with your decor. So now I'm using a lighter blue just to um, kind of give the eggs dimension and separate them a little bit. And then a darker blue, I'm adding a little brown to the blue to um, to put in the depth between the eggs and just use whatever 
brush you feel comfortable using for this. The, the great thing about this kind of painting, this, this style of painting, is that you don't have to um, focus so much on using just the perfect brush and the perfect paint and and all that this is this is very easy it's very loose it's it's um very freeing um and what i'm doing right here is i cleaned my brush and now i'm tapping out the the edges of that white so that it's not too too bold um but as i was saying just um this style of painting is just, it's so, um, it's so easy, and I think the finished look is so much better than if you had spent, uh, an hour or two painting it and trying to make it perfect, because this, this loose style is really what looks good when you're, when you're decorating with it. Now, if you're painting, at just to try to get better at painting, then this is probably not for you. But but this is this is something that's useful. It's fun to do. It's very fun to do uh, because it's so free and loose. Um, but then when you're finished, you've got you've got something you can actually use. And um, and you know this doesn't have to go in a frame. This these canvases are very rigid, so they they stand up. You can um, prop them prop them against the wall or on a small easel or whatever. Um, now I'm putting some really light color on the outer edges because that kind of softens the edges and makes it look more wispy, I guess. So now I've put some darker blue on my palette because I wanted to come in with a darker blue between my eggs. Um, so just when you're doing it, just, you know, decide what looks good to you and you're not stuck with what colors are on your palette. I'm sure you've got other paint that you can use. But you definitely want that dimension, that depth between the eggs. So, you know, work with this, but don't think about it too much. Just have fun with it. And as I said earlier, you can come back like this with some of the darker, just to come out over your eggs. That's nice. So there you have it. And as you can see, this is very nice to decorate with, and you've got very little time and money in it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and all that. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you and your family, and I'll see you next time.